Today I'm back with some more development in the Cosmic Desktop that's built with Rust and I got excited to check out the greeter so I built and installed this running on an actual computer. As shown in my previous video, I got too excited to wait and wanted to test things out even though that it's not quite all the way there yet. We can see here is the greeter and or lock screen and one of the most exciting things here is the awesome work that System76 did to support theming in this greeter. I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but before we do, I want to go through a little bit of this greeter here on my system to kind of show you what's available and how to interact with it. First off, you can make a selection of whatever user you want from here. Currently, I only have the one user, so Savvy Nick is currently chosen. Our password goes in here, and finally, the session we want to be using can be selected from down here. Now, this is something that people started asking me about soon after the last video on how exactly do we switch between sessions? Well, they made it really easy for us instead of having to go to settings and changing up the cog to change what session you wanna run, we can simply do it from this drop down located right underneath the password. I think that's a fantastic place to put it. And we have pop on Wayland, pop and cosmic. We also have a new wallpaper if you haven't noticed. I actually like the other one even better, but that was actually from a theme. So the wallpaper here in the background will be able to be chosen through your theme. It doesn't have to be this particular wallpaper. It can be whatever you want or desire, but they've also now added more buttons, even though that they're currently not working with this build. I'll show you what I mean. If I hover over them and I click down, I can't actually get access to any of these. Not a big deal as it is a work in progress here, but we can make some assumptions on what these are going to be. And I'm going to label these real quick, making some assumptions here. Number one here would be accessibility settings. Number two is going to be your keyboard layouts. So you can choose between multiple different layouts for your current key mappings. Three is what I assume to be users. Four, we can make an assumption that that's the settings. Five, probably the night mode setting, whether or not it's toggled on or off. Six, that's going to be probably for restarting the current session. And then seven is to power off or power down the current system. All fantastic stuff. We realize up here that we have the current date and time. Fantastic. But we can also see that these icons here should be customizable, which will offer you the ability to put various different statuses and icons in this particular location that I'm shading in. That would be fantastic. Imagine being able to be greeted by whatever information you see fit or pertinent to you. That's one fantastic thing about System 76's attempt to make this Cosmic Rust greeter, which they're doing a fantastic job on. And I want to thank Michael for giving me instruction and access to this greeter. I was quite excited to use it. So what I want to do here is I can actually type in my password. If we hit the eye icon, you'll be able to see the password. That's not implemented yet. Again, change the session down here. I'll log into Cosmic and the current user I'm logging in is Savvy Nick. You press enter and you'll be taken on to your desktop. But that's not the exciting part for me. I wanna talk more about theming. I don't think I can quite yet fathom how awesome the theming support is going to be on this new desktop environment. Since System76 is building this from the ground up, we really are going to be able to tailor our own personal customizations to our systems. And here's an amazing example of that. This is a design by Jeremy, one of the members at System76, who's got a work in progress theme also working on the lock screen for Cosmic. How awesome is this? I love the red theme here in the background. Awesome wallpaper that they've chose. And we can see how they've themed the greeter itself to blend in and be aesthetically pleasing with the background. This is something that we're all going to be able to do. And this is one of the reasons I'm super excited for the Cosmic Rust desktop to show up and become available to us, hopefully within the next half year or so. I got another video about that if you're interested in a timeline. But anyways, if you wanna follow up with more of these updates, I'm, I'm posting these about two times a month. Make sure to subscribe below. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. You might as well be one. And let's let this theme sink in because not only does it look beautiful here on the greeter page, but Jeremy has made a cohesive theme for their desktop. What we're seeing here is on the desktop, their appearance settings. Notice how everything follows suit. How did they do it? Well, through a very simple 
appearance settings window, which we're getting a glimpse at now. Notice you can do various things like change the window background, container background, interface text tint, control component tint, and the accent colors, including styles like rounding, slightly round, or square. You can individually set the window hint size and gaps around the tiled windows if you want to use the tiling window manager. All fantastic things coming from System76. Now, from clues given by System76, I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. I believe the customization is going to be a lot more expansive, including being able to go into config files themselves and change them up for the desktop instead of being limited to things like this that are settings provided by the developer. Instead, it seems like we're going to have a deeper control over theming, and I'm super excited about that. Hopefully that is true and it debuts with the Cosmic Desktop whenever it gets released, but I want to move on to a more tame greeter, which is similar to what I was using with a serene background. Of course, the background has changed here, but the greeter itself is pretty much the same. We did gain access and see an extra few options located here, and we talked about the selection for a session here as well. So we have a more updated version than what's uh, given in this picture. So we know what to expect. I know a lot of you enjoy these constant updates on the Cosmic Rust desktop. If you do, make sure to hit that like button for me so I know to make more of these. I don't want to be overloading everybody with these updates, but I am super excited about Cosmic and I hope you are too. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.